Hey everybody, thank you for checking out this video, thanks for being here. If you could be so kind as to perhaps leave a like and hit that comment section, go on, you know you'll want to. That would be of great help and great support, and I would thank you so very much. Um, so in the last video I did the Panopticon, uh, I went to go on the P6, I think I was on, yeah, P6. Uh, and he was gone, he's back at the boardroom, my brother Dylan, I say my brother, Jesse's brother, uh, Dylan, so we're finally going, going to get to meet him. Uh, in the last video as well I mentioned an outfit called P6, I did check online and it's actually called P7, and I have a rough idea of where to get it, and I was completely off the mark I'd say. Ooh, abilities. Hmm. Do I go for health? Launch might be good. Ooh, what's this? Seize? I could do that. Or oh, levitation. I'll go for levitation, why not? And then I'll go for that one. And that leaves me with one point. Fair enough. And I can use that. That'll go towards whatever I get for the next quest. I thought the milestone rewards would go on a bit more, but never mind. Alright, fast travel. And I'm gonna go fast travel to the Panopticon just to talk to that guy. Uh, that was quick, actually. I, did, I wasn't expecting that. Better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a cat. Let me know when the hiss are gone. I miss my desk. Alright, he... I thought that'd be something. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like thought always. that'd be something, but clearly not. Alright, go back here. Astral constructs. Upgrade spin. Hmm. Ah, cool. Yeah, I want to do that one. This, that one doesn't use house memory, though. I still haven't made that. House memory's a bitch to collect, apparently. I could upgrade piece. I'll upgrade spin. I, I use that most. That and grip. Okay, go back, fast travel, and then up to the top, boardroom, well not boardroom, isn't it? it's central executive. I am liking how the game's changing as well as I go along, like characters are showing up in like the central executive area, like Marshall and whatnot, and I am fi figuring out what's happening to some of the other characters that have been mentioned. Uh, still haven't figured out what happened to Darling, unless I may have missed something earlier on, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I haven't heard much about him in the last few episodes. Okay, what's oh going on God. up here? She had to write everything in a made-up Jewish code. Fucking Marshall, you CIA spy shit. God. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. We were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. I have to go. They're in there. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. 
<laughs> Alright, I probably shouldn't have quit out of that conversation, that seemed weird. I mean, he was just like really seriously going, Ah, I hope they're... Hey, me too! Alright, let's go talk to Emily. ...is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the His, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse. Be careful. Actually, whilst I'm here, and you got that red upside down triangle. Ooh, actually. Oh, God, there's a lot of things here. Yoink. Alright, yeah, I really am going to have to do that episode where I go through some of the collectibles soon. So I checked, and there's like 20. Some of those like, sections have like 20 or 30 things in them. And a lot of the reviews said it is worth reading them, so I'll do an episode. I'll probably I'll say before I do it, just so you know if you don't if you're not interested in that type of thing, you can skip over it. Uh, let's go and see what Emily wants. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Are these new? I don't think they are. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. The I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. Alright, these are new. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, Arish? This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. With him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. Probably quite often. A lot of them do seem like mad scientists. How is HRA production coming along? <laughs> Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. All right. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Uh, what'd she say? Upper level. 
Ah, you can't levitate. I suppose that would creep people out, seeing their directive fly overhead. Undefined reading. I assume this is the door. Look, what is? I want to know what is the deal with these guns. I swear that's an old World War Two gun. Sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can to be true. Can you stop that? Please? <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangefield! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I hear worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. 
You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are the one through time. The one through time. The thunders hold the swords. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are alarmed through time. The thunders hold the swords. Huh. I wonder if that's a bit of foreshadowing. I, yeah. All right. Let's see what the next bit is. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl. From an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are the one through time. How many more of these interactions are there? Alright, I'll come back to this. Otherwise, I'm not going to be doing anything in this episode. Well, nothing progressive. I'll come back to that. Okay, and you get to Prime Candidate Program. Uh, 
me see the board. I haven't done any of these, have I? No. Astral constructs. Thought I've been to that one. Fast travel. Maintenance, research, containment. I can't remember if I think if it's a slightly darker background on the map. I think it's like upstairs, maybe. And the light do you get? Like the lower levels. If they stand for like the lower levels, the light the grey. Hmm. All right. So, find the prime candidate program. Oh, there's a container. Well, no, like, never mind. Thought the monitor screens were one of those containers. A red, which way? So that's the Panopticon. I need to get the map up. Whoa! Ah! Okay, never mind. Oh, what? Okay, through here. Right, maybe around security somewhere. I'll have some luck. And then back to the drawing board because there is nothing of use around here. Ah, never mind. I take it back.
Self-reflection. Okay, yet another. I'll throw that into the pile of ever-mounting side missions I have to do. So yeah, I think the next few uh, videos I'll do, I'll just be working my way through uh, this bunch of stuff. Now, after I, I finished, I finished this mission because I'm like halfway through it, but uh, yeah. After this, I'll be doing. After I finish this one, I'll be working on the side stuff for a bit. To find new prime candidates, the bureau needs a director. Our future. P six and P seven. Okay, in hindsight, I should have upgraded the energy bar. How the hell am I going to defeat this guy? Ah, he's just staying in the corner now. Because he knows I have the shield up so he can't hit me. Now he'll throw something at me. Ah, yeah. Alright, there's more to come. So where are the others? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to need to equip that weapon slot as well. So if I go to the loadout, there you go. Uh, that might come in handy. Damage while low on health. I need to upgrade grip, I do. Ah, I also got full. Yeah, I'll probably go through this in between, like before the next video, and just take out some of the uh, stuff I don't really need. For now though, I'm going to call this video to an end. Thank you all for watching, it means a lot. If you could just hit that like button and leave a comment down below, that would help a great deal as well. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, hope you all enjoyed the commentary. I'll hopefully see you next time, but until then, take care.